hello everyone in this session a different topic we have to discuss here the topic name is excitation is given to both stator and rotor with unequal frequencies so up to now we discussed about what we are discussing simply just we are giving the supply to the stator and we will get the mechanical output just we are giving the supply and we will get the mechanical output from the rotor if in order to work the induction motor induction motor when we are giving the two supplies we are giving supply for this stator as well as supply for this rotor then how it works what are the conditions it works so and with unequal frequencies that frequencies must and should be stator frequency rotor frequency different and supply should be given both supply should be given both the stator as well as the rotor up to now we discussed about only for supply given to the stator only so to understand this just we have to take an example that example is like this that example we have the stator we have the stator and stator has just assume stator is given the supply the frequency is the 50 h stator frequency is the 50 h and stator has number of poles are 6 and just look at the rotor rotor in the title itself mentioned it is unequal frequency different with frequency the frequency for the rotor is assume 20 h assume it is a 20 h then it is also worked with the 6 poles poles are same then look at the things and look at the things here the first thing the first thing yeah so in this case we have the two cases the first case is if both are stator rmf and rotor rmf are rotating with the same speed then look at here so we will make some diagrams this is just assume this is the stator stator has some conductors so this is the stator has some conductors just assume and we are giving the supply is 50 h supply 50 h supply when the 50 h supply is given uh, what is the stator rotating magnetic field stator rotating magnetic field speed that is represents with the ns 120f by p here 120 frequency is 50 and p is 6 620 times and that is the 1000 rpm the stator rmf is rotates with the 1000 rpm so when the supply is given 50 h then the stator is rotates with the speed of the 1000 rpm what is it, what it rotates the stator rmf stator rmf and what about the rotor look at for the rotor and we are we are giving the supply also supply given to the rotor also we are given supply to the rotor so when the rotor supply is given to this rotor rotor is three phase winding connected and rotor will has uh, some currents it will it will take some currents and it will generate rotating magnetic field so what is the rotor rotating magnetic field speed the rotor rotating magnetic field speed is i will take the speed we can take it as a speed and this is an ns of the stator don't confuse here and the ns of the stator and this this is also a this is a rotor take it as the n n n value is same 120 f by p here here is the 120 what is f the rotor frequency is the 20 and the number of poles of the rotor as 6 then then we can write 6 into 20 times then the rotor rotating magnetic field rotor rotating magnetic field is rotates with the speed of the 400 rpm so the rotor rotating magnetic field 
is rotates with the 400 rpm so i will write here the rotor is there rotor has also some conductor and it represents like this and rotor will take the frequency is the rotor will take the frequency of 20 h will take the frequency of 20 h and it is rotates with the speed of with the speed of with the speed the 400 rpm is it rotates with the 400 rpm the speed is the rotor the speed is for rotor rotating magnetic field speed rotor rotating magnetic field speed so our intention is to induction motor has to rotate has to rotate here here the condition is important take take it as a condition here the case one you can take it as case one first case in this case this is a, take it as a case one in this case assume stator rmf and rotor rmf in same direction both are in are in same direction our intention is to rotate the rotor so in order to rotate the rotor what is the in order to develop the torque what is the speed is required for the induction motor to develop the torque so here this is rotates with the 1000 rpm this is rotates with the 400 rpm so to get the torque what is our requirement to get the torque both rmfs that is stator rmf and the rotor rmf should be same speed both should be same speed but just observe here these are in same speed no this is 400 rpm this is 1000 rpm if the rotor rotates with the if the rotor rotates with the 600 rpm rotor rotates with the 600 rpm then then the rotor rotating magnetic field already it is 400 rpm it is 600 rpm then the rotor rotating magnetic field will become the 1000 rpm so when stator rmf is 1000 rpm rotor rmf is 1000 rpm that time induction motor will develop the torque that time the induction motor will develop the torque so we can write yet 600 rpm speed of rotor speed of rotor induction motor develop the torque develop the torque so whenever unequal frequencies are applied that time to develop this rotor must and should be rotated with the 600 rpm otherwise it is not possible to develop the torque second case for case 2 case 2 stator rmf and rotor rmf in opposite direction in opposite direction then how the induction motor will rotates so here also in this case you know that the stator will give in 50 h supply that's why stator will rotate with the 1000 rpm so same thing same analysis here so we have the stator is there that will rotates with the 1000 rpm so this is this is the stator rmf that will rotates with the 1000 rpm this is the stator we are giving stator frequency stator frequency is 50 h 50 h and rotor this is the rotor rotor also we are giving the frequency how much 20 h but what is the second case look at the second case stator rmf rotor rmf in reverse case reverse case means what happened rotor rmf is this 
rotor rmf will reverse direction that rotor rmf rotates with the 400 rpm rotor rmf is rotates with the 400 rpm then that time what is the relative speed required so to become the rotor rmf what you have to do to get the torque to get the torque stator rmf in 1000 rpm for example in direction but rotor rmf must be also in the same direction with this speed that should be become the 1000 rpm in order to become the 1000 rpm the rotor should be just find out the relative speed relative speed between both relative speed is this is the 1000 and this is the opposite direction 400 rpm the relative speed it required the 1400 rpm so that's why the rotor should be uh, rotates with the 1400 rpm the rotor rotates with the 1400 rpm then the rotor rmf also rotates with the 1000 rpm when both are in the same speed then automatically torque will be developed torque will be developed otherwise there is no development of the torque okay so we have the two cases to develop the torque if it is in same direction the relative speed is here the relative speed is simply 1000 minus 400 so it required 600 rpm speed for the rotor so rotor should rot rotate 600 rpm but here both are in opposites that's why it required 1400 speed rpm so to develop the torque rotor rotates with rotor rotates with 1400 rpm 1400 rpm okay so these are the things consider a three phase induction motor whose stator is excited with 58 supply whose rotor is excited with the 28 supply we have two cases first case if direction of stator flux and rotor flux in same direction the motor will develop the torque only at 600 rpm speed if the direction of the stator and rotor flux are reversed or opposite direction you can take reverse or opposite direction both are in opposite direction the motor will develop the torque at the 1400 rpm so this is about the this is about the excitation is given to the both stator and rotor with unequal frequencies i hope all of you understand the session thank you